As seen in my prior video, Google Camera is an awesome camera and takes much better photos than the stock Graphene OS camera. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. I go through Google Camera and how to install it on Graphene OS. Since Google Camera relies on Google Play services and Google services framework, I personally like to install it on a separate profile from my main owner profile. Different profiles are completely separated from each other. So files on one profile cannot be read or edited in a different profile. So the question is, if you take a beautiful picture, how do you get this picture over to your owner profile? Well, there's a few options. If you have a cloud drive, you could install your cloud app on your different profiles. That way you could upload it to the cloud, log into your owner profile and pull the image from the cloud. However, for me, I don't wanna be logging into my cloud account on a profile that has Google services on it. So what I do, I just take a USB-C thumb drive. I download the image to the thumb drive. I eject it. I log into my owner profile, take this thumb drive, plug it in and save the image to my owner profile. It's as simple as that. Here I have an unformatted USB-C 64 gig PNY drive. So let's plug it in. At the top, there's a USB notification. So if we swipe down, we can see our notifications. And here it says that the drive is unsupported. So let's click on that. Graphene OS will ask you, do you want to format the drive? So yes, let's format the drive. And it's a super quick process. So it was about a five second process. So your USB drive is now ready to use. Click done. And if we swipe up, let's go to files. And we'll hit these three lines here, the menu at the top left. And now here you can see that we have the PNY USB drive available. So we can click on that. And obviously we just formatted this drive, so there's nothing in it. So let's take our beautiful picture. We'll go to our camera. I will long press on the image to select it. I'll go to the three dots at the top. Here you have the option to either copy or move the file to your USB drive. So let's hit move to. It's gonna ask you, where do you wanna move it to? So again, three lines, menu. I'm gonna click on the USB drive and hit move. Click on the menu and we go to our PNY USB drive. The file now lives in our USB drive. So what you have to do is eject the drive from this profile, unplug it, switch over to your owner profile and plug the drive in and it'll show up there. So that's it, hope this video helped. Let me know if you have any questions.